just a couple weeks ago actually, the ones that police approached us. Um, the perception right now with uh, not only the Windsor Police Force but with uh, many police forces is that um, when they turn on a siren to go through an intersection in an emergency situation, the, the officers feel now that people don't seem to be able to hear them approaching like they used to a few years ago. And as a result, this has resulted in some accidents across the country and even some fatalities. So um, a new type of siren was um, conceived that produces a lower frequency noise because the idea, the, the problem is with a uh, conventional siren, it's mostly high frequency noise. And high frequency noise is absorbed very easily by vehicles, the sound packaging, vehicles, carpeting, etc. Uh, but low frequency noise is much more difficult to attenuate. So they uh, developed this siren called a rumbler, which is a low frequency modulating noise modulating so much like a helicopter beating type noise that comes in and out. The idea is to play the, the rumbler siren at the same time as you play the higher pitched conventional siren uh, with the hope that this uh, extra noise would penetrate into the vehicle and grab a driver's attention better than the traditional siren would. So the Windsor police uh, purchased a couple of these, put them in to some vehicles to try out and then they started asking the officers, well, did you notice a difference? And some of the officers said, yeah, well, yeah, it makes a big difference. And others said, not that I noticed. So the uh, staff sergeant who's in uh, charge of the motor pool thought, well, maybe we should take a more scientific approach to evaluating this. They approached uh, our group, because we specialize in acoustics and, and sound quality and psychoacoustics, and asked us to look into uh, um, evaluating the siren to see does it really work and if it does work is there anything that we could do to make it work even better so that's what we're doing we're, we're studying the perception and the reaction to the, to the sound that the rubber makes and based on that we can provide feedback to the police force and then uh, once we've done that if we can actually make it uh, sound even more effective then we'll make those recommendations as well Thank <laughs> you.